First, I'd like to give you a brief tour of my studio so that you're familiar with the working environment. It might give you some perspective on how I work. Here I have in my studio a north light window. Don't always use that, sometimes I'm painting at night, in which case I have the overhot headed fluorescent lights. Whichever painting I'm doing, I have to decide, am I going to paint during the day or am I going to paint during the night? Now, right now I have the setup, which I started actually when I was painting at night. An arrangement of objects, and then directly adjacent to it, I have the picture that I'm working on. By having the picture plane very close to the plane of the, of the objects, and it allows me to use the site size method, which is explained in my book, Fast and Flexible. This technique that I'm currently using is the tonal realism technique, which is just one of the four methods that you can learn from the book. In it, the priority is tonal values. So my goal in this picture, which is basically the underpainting, with a little bit of the block in started, I've established the tonal values to match that. The second is that I've used um, as a my method for depicting form is to create rough clouds. For instance, you can see here, I'm not interested in neatly delineating the outlines of the objects. Instead, I'm creating a, a rough, shadowy version of it. Edges are very loose, very um, fuzzy. As we pan around, you'll see that I have shelving, on which I have most of, uh, which I've organized uh, very, the pigments and uh, paints, and a work surface with um, all my materials on it. So, for instance, I have my brushes, paper towels, you use a lot of paper towels, believe me. I have a dark mirror, uh, which is one of the important techniques in my book that allows you to compare the tonal value of uh, you know, different paint mixtures by suppressing the hue of the, of the, the mixture. Next, I have bins. They're labeled. You probably can't see this in the video. Yellow, blue, red, a special one just for earth and just for whites. just the right color, I think for the blues as well, and any color really, but uh, you know, Venetian, I have this uh, beautiful Winsor Newton uh, Mars Violet Deep, uh, a very dark, rich, purpley red, um, blue undertone, um, perylene red, um, use that quite a bit, cadmium, Quinn red, which has a very strong blue undertone. Uh, I don't use all these pigments at any of time. They're not necessarily from my uh, palette that I use as a regular basis, but I do keep them organized and separate so that when I need just the right hue, it's there. As you can see, I have uh, spent a small fortune uh, in various kinds of mediums uh, from uh, this is some uh, Sanini, I've got some studio products, Amblin, um, things I've mixed myself, uh, like this is kind of a glare with some egg white, kind of foul smelling right now, I probably won't paint with this, I'll probably end up throwing it away. But the point is, mediums are not as important as people think. It has more to do with the technique that you use. I have a work table here. And I also have a palette rack. So if I use a red, I can keep that separate. Um, and it just kind of slips in there. Uh, one just for white, so it's not contaminated by the other colors. 
Thank you for visiting my studio, and God bless.